Okay, finishing up Red Hood, we're going to be working on the chest and abdomen plate. And these are some awesome files from Colonius you can find over at CG Trader. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a 120, then go to a 220, and then this fine pad, and then probably up a little bit more. As you can see, it's kind of glossy. It's because I decided to use some XTC, uh, that smoothing agent that I had. It was okay. I mean, it didn't smooth it enough that I wasn't going to have to sand it. So I'll probably uh, never use it again. So so we just sand, sand, and sand. Okay, after I was done sanding, I went ahead and I gave it a couple coats of the filler sanding primer and sanded it all down nice and used a wet sand to finish it off and then glued it up with just some super glue and some accelerant to hold it in place. And of course, there's a gap there, so we used our Bondo filler, smoothed it out, and sanded that down. Now, I lost some footage accidentally, so I didn't get this part, but it's the same as the helmet. For this red paint, we need a chrome base. So I put a chrome base down and gave it a bunch of light coats with the red. And now we're just taping it off so that we can go with our black coat. And this is a little tedious, but that tape, I love that stuff. It's so thin and it works great. So there we go. And we've given it a coat made of gloss black. And uh, we're ready to start taking the tape off. And this is, of course, always so satisfying. And when we start it, oh, there's that red. And it looks awesome to set off against that black. This chrome paint, or this, this metallic paint, is from Duper Color. It's just fantastic. I, I really, really love using it. It's just going to be a question of not overusing it because it looks so amazing, especially against black. All right, now we have started to put the back, the sort of the um, abdomen area on, and I wanted it to move, so I went ahead and I used just some really, you know, cheap elastic. I got it like Joanne's Fabrics. Uh, I can't remember the width of it, maybe an inch, inch and a quarter. Cut them into small strips, heating the ends to get rid of the fray. Watch your fingers, because they're small pieces. And I guess you could use some longer pieces, have some coffee. And then just use some hot glue to put it in place. And I used, you know, a considerable amount of glue, like I always do, because glue is good. <laughs> it doesn't fall apart on you. And of course, hot glue is hot, and I was burning my fingers quite often. And we just do it on both sides, and then sort of rinse and repeat, and put the bottom on, and then presto chingo, it is done. So, this is what I really love about using the elastic. Now, you can see that when you're wearing this, if you bend over or if you move, uh, it's going to have that play. There's a lot of little string things. It's going to play and have some really nice movement to it. And I really love that. It looks uh, very organic. And it's a, you know, also a testament of Colonius's, uh skill. And it's like a little snake. Now to create something to get this thing to actually stay on me, I'm just using some of this nylon strapping, some of these clips, and some Velcro, and of course everything I use to create this will be over at 3D Printing Props .com. You can also check out KevinZolo.com, I've got a lot of stuff over there now, I'm building that site out. I unfortunately wiped this card, this was a bad card day, and I don't have any footage of me building it, but here it is. Simple T glued on with a clip to hold it on. Uh, really, really, really simple design. Well, I am super happy with this chest plate. Colonius knocked it out of the park again. I've got a video coming up of me doing a full suit up. This is from it, of course. Uh, so if you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell so you see that video right when it comes out. And of course, check me out over on Patreon.com where I'm putting up ST, uh, 3D files. I'm putting up uh, uh, work in progresses, things like that. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And again, over at KevinVolo.com, I actually put up a page that has tons of 3D printer coupon codes. So check that out. Support the channel. And then I can buy more filament because I need more filament. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to make stuff. But, you know, whatever. Any little bit helps. All right, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, this, has been a, this has been a really fun build. And I cannot wait to debut that costume.